the history of the Beagle Bassett right here on Gary's Stuff. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today is History Day on the kit of the week. And that kit is the Airfix kit of the Beagle Bassett 206 in 170 second scale. This is a vintage classics release. I'll be having a look at the history of the Beagle 206 first and then having a look at the history of the kit itself. If you are thinking of buying one, you want to know what's in the box, then a box opening video is already available on the channel. And if you've got one and you want to know how to put it together, then the build video will be up in a day or two's time. How will you know when it's arrived? Well, all you have to do, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos as they're released. And of course, anything you like on the channel, please do give it a thumbs up, the imperial thumbs up, on the like button below because every like counts and of course if you'd like to offer a bit more concrete support you can do that through super thanks through becoming a channel member or indeed through any of my online partner programs including the ethics affiliate program so let's make a start then and look at the history of the beagle 206 passage <laughs> The Beagle 206 Bassett was a British two-engine communications aircraft built in the 1960s. After the amalgamation of many manufacturers into the British Aircraft Corporation in 1960, the project was taken to Beagle Aircraft Limited in West Sussex, southern England. The prototype featured all-metal construction and two piston engines with room for five people and flew for the first time in 1961. The second prototype was slightly larger and could seat seven people. The RAF was interested in an aircraft to replace the Avro Anson in the communications role, including ferrying a complete V bomber crew and ground technician to dispersed bases. After evaluation at Boscombe Down against the de Havilland Dove, the Beagle 206 was selected and an order for 20 aircraft was placed. These were designated as the Bassett CC Mark I and entered service with the Northern Communications Squadron, later number 26 Squadron, in 1965. The aircraft was also used by the Queen's Flight, notably by the then Prince Charles, during his flying training. Aircraft were also used for research by the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Boscombe Down in southwest England. Powered by two Rolls-Royce Continental G10470A engines of 310 horsepower each, the Bassett had a top speed of 220 miles per hour, or 352 kilometers per hour, and a range of over 1,600 miles, or 2,600 kilometers. The RAF found the aircraft to have serviceability problems, was difficult to use at high loads from grass strips because the propellers were too long, and its performance in hot climates was questionable. The Bassett CC Mark I was retired from communications duties after just nine years, with most of the aircraft sold to the civil market. An improved civil version with supercharged engines was offered and made some sales, including to the Royal Flying Doctor Service in Australia. However, in total, just 79 aircraft of all types were built. Production ended in 1969. <laughs> This FX kit was originally released as a new tooling in 1968. It was also marketed by MPC in the same year. In 1980, the kit received new decals for X-ray Sierra 770, an aircraft of the Queen's flight that was flown by the then Prince Charles. This vintage classics release came out in 2022 with the transparent parts reverse engineered to create a special replacement tool based on the original design. The other plastic parts remain the same. In the aftermarket, there were some correction sets, one made by Air Graphics and one by Alicat Models, neither of which appear to be available any longer. 
There is a decal set from Extra Decal with a variety of schemes for the Basset and one of test aircraft from Air Graphics that includes the Basset among other types. There we go then, a shortish history, an even shorter history of the kit because if you are a model of a Beagle Basset then the Airfix one is the only one in town. An elegant aeroplane is such a shame it wasn't a success. Um, you kind of feel that had it been offered a year or two later when they had the more powerful engine, the supercharged engine, slight better design, instead of a two-bladed prop, maybe go to three-bladed props, so the props are slightly shorter. It would have cured a lot of performance and handling issues, um, but there we go. They were hoping to make 250 in total to break even. They made 79, so it wasn't exactly a great financial success. But there we go. Still, one of the prettiest and most elegant looking planes I've seen, um, certainly of that era, and certainly in terms of flight aircraft, an absolute little gem. If you'd like to see how the kit goes together, of course, come back to the channel. Um, if you want to know for sure when it happens, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so, already hit the bell. And you'll be notified of when the video comes up and indeed all my future videos. And if you like anything on my channel, please do remember, give it the imperial thumbs up on the like button below there because every like counts. Hope to see you again very soon on the channel. Take good care now. Goodbye.